Hi guys, welcome back to Stank Care Reviews. I'm going to go through how to change your spark plugs. So you will need, uh, you don't need gloves, but I do use gloves, uh, nitrite gloves. Um, and yeah, socket set and a basic IKEA toolkit. Pop the bonnet of your car and, uh, and yeah, if you've got a strap brace, which most high performance cars do, then you'll need to get rid of that to access your spark plugs. Um, so yeah, mine's pretty stiff as it should be. So I kind of need, after I've taken the bolt out, Need a bit of a hammer, and uh, and away we go. So now you should have access, depending on your car, to your spark plugs. You'll see the wires leading to your coil packs, um, and you'll need to remove those wires. If your wires aren't a specific length um, to your cylinders, then you'll need to label them one through to four, or how many cylinders you have uh, for your engine. This is really important because um, if you plug the wrong wire into the wrong cylinder, you are going to have a bad day. So so yeah. Um, then we're going to undo the basic screws or bolts that go into the coil packs to unsecure the coil packs and, uh, and yeah. If you don't know what coil packs are, like coil packs are these little coils, packs of coils which build up um, a certain amount of voltage uh, for your spark plugs. So they are kind of expensive, do make sure that once you're taking them out that you put them somewhere that you know, no one's gonna step on or anything because they do cost a few hundred dollars to replace if you do break them. Ah, okay, cool. All right, so you're with me so far. You will need to, if you don't have the proper um, awesome car socket set, you'll need to uh, put it like a little rubber insert. I've got a bit of my rubber glove in the actual uh, socket tool. And um, I've got all the extenders on there as well. And all I'm gonna do is untorque the, the actual spark plug. So I'm going to loosen it up a bit, and then I'm free to, to hand loosen it, basically. Um, so this is really important. Um, so just go through this until you're absolutely 100% sure it's out of the thread, and then take it out very, very softly, and it should be stuck into the tool because you have that rubber insert. So that's your spark plug. Now, if you run a turbo car, or if you're basically running higher than average boost, I'm running 15 pound of boost on an SR20 DT, um, then you'll need to gap it. So my specific gapping is 0.7 of a mil. Um, the default for these NGKs is 0.9 of a mil. So if you tap down on a hard surface uh, very, very gently, you'll be able to basically re-gap your spark plugs and uh, just keep tapping until you get a really, really nice fit. Um, so you'll need one of these gauges that I've, I've got in my hands, uh, which basically comes with bits of metal that are different thickness and size. Um, so yeah, I'm just regapping mine to 0.7 of a mil, and once I've double, triple checked it that it's the right um, gapping, then I'm free to put the new spark plug into the actual cylinder. So I'm really, really careful with my gapping. Um, as you can see there, I've double, triple checked that it's the correct gapping. Um, so yeah, my 0.7 mil gapped spark plug is, is ready to go into the cylinder. So uh, I just basically get it in there and uh, hand tighten it. And then this is the really important part because a uh, whole point of a, an engine is compression. So you really do need to make sure that uh, you give the right amount of torquing um, to, to the actual spark, uh, spark plug. Um, so for my turbo car, 15 pound, you don't want that leaking, uh, especially out through the coil packs. So you do need to torque it a few times to make sure that it is not leaking at all. Um, so yeah, so not leaking any compression, we're happy with that. We're gonna do the same to all the other spark plugs, replace them, and uh, once you've replaced all the plugs, you're gonna put the coil packs back in. So it doesn't matter what order these were taken out of, you can switch them around, they're all the same. And, um, but the important part is to get the wires into the right cylinder. So make sure that the wires go into the right coil pack, in the right cylinder, and then secure those as we did um, you know, with the bolts. So that's a 10 millimeter bolt. What I usually do is after I've done it, I'll, I'll rev the engine, or well, start the car and I'll rev the engine to about 5,000 rev. Um, so I, I think that's mostly the, around the range where you'll be able to see if it's misfiring or whether or not something's wrong. Um, but yeah, if your engine sounds like normal or better than normal, then great. 
Uh, so that's how you do your spark plugs. If I missed anything or if I browsed over something too fast and you want some clarification, do hit me up in the comment section below. Uh, if you like this video, if you found it useful, do subscribe and like the video.